Last week, I spent 7,000 euros to hang out one weekend with this guy, who's Thomas Crello, to learn three days from him how to grow social media, how to grow the business, and how to have a better mindset overall so I can make more money. And in this video, I'm gonna share you the lessons, the principles, and a Google document with all of my notes from this event so that you can have these notes for yourself and use them in your own business and in your own life. So here's the document. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hey, my name is Nick. I have a company in Latvia that is called NJ Media and we help service businesses to make more money by installing sales systems, marketing systems and everything around that stuff. We're currently on the run rate of 1.5 million a year and I'm just sharing what we are doing and what we're learning. Okay, so let's go. So the first guy that had was a guest speaker was this guy, Anar Dreams. He's actually an interesting guy because in less than 12 months, he grew his social media following to over 20 million followers, which is kind of very impressive. You can see it right here. And then he gave a speech and then it was Thomas and Thomas is this guy who is um, a crypto guy and a hedge fund guy. He has also, he sells also core, core trading programs and he's a really cool dude and he has a lot of followers and he does crazy things also on the internet in life also as well so let's go through it okay so the first guest speaker was anar and he said a couple of things that i want to mention to you uh, is to dream bigger if you have a target of hundred thousand followers make it a million don't be a don't be so soft okay Big, bigger targets uh quick thing how there is only one earth and how we live comes down to our inner self and also our outer self. Which means, think about your internal being, how you feel inside. Because that will make you be and live in a better outside way. And better kind of this all things. Uh, per people and uh, persons are a combination of elements, energy and body. Everybody in us in life, we're always chasing our desires or our goals. This is for all people, all times, always. Is it more money, better health, better relationships? We're always chasing something. That's for all of us, okay? The only difference between people who have a million, a billion, a million and nothing or in debt is their knowledge. So depending on what you know is how you're going to live, okay? And also if you have bad beliefs, which are something such as you have beliefs of doing something this way, maybe you should think about it. Maybe this is not the way I should always do it. Maybe try to mix things up. As an example, how you go to work, take a different road, try different places. If you're doing, if you're eating certain foods, maybe try different foods. If you're going to the same restaurant, maybe try different restaurants. And that way you also will see different perspectives, different things, and you will experience more. And maybe something will come pop up in your mind. Uh, and next thing, ask for help and be humble to grow faster. And this was really cool, which is don't look above or above, get to the same level with people you're communicating with, which is you maybe want to be rich and we want to make money and there are people who are billionaires and there are people who are poor we are living on the street what anar was saying was try to look with them and try to talk with them in the same level don't look at this above below because all of this is maybe not real because it's like money money is an abstract thing understand that it's just money we're all human beings we're all our people doesn't matter if you are rich or not rich, you're just people. And when you, once you have this realization and once you realize that you can have anything you want, it's become easier to talk because some people will value, I wanna run marathons all my life and that's their billion. Some people value money as a billion, but we should always look at people in the same level. This is just their choice, their outcome of life. Doesn't mean that you cannot have it as well. And it doesn't mean you should look at above or below. This is a very cool concept. Next thing, you can achieve your goals in 1 billion ways, which is really interesting, right? There's many ways to achieve your goal. Let's say my goal right now in this quarter is to reach 300K per month in the business. I can get there so many ways. 
I could start a subscription, do it. I could do a SaaS business, do it. I could just start selling maybe 20K offer and maybe get three client, uh, 10 clients per month doing this offer. I could do uh, like AI services. I could do like so many things to reach my goal. And there are certain things that will be hard and certain things that can be easy. And if you want, you can try to find the easiest way to your goals because there's millions of ways to reach your goal. Okay, you and I, we are made up of moment moments in our life and decisions in our life. And don't get attached. Don't get attached to past moments and don't let them stop you from doing the things you need, which are, for example, I maybe have bad experience in before making a YouTube video where people were laughing at me and saying, oh, this guy is so funny. What the fuck is he doing? Why is he even making a video? And based on that, I will not make a video today. And what Anna was saying, don't let that attach you. Let just let go of that. Let go of that. Be a blank page every day and every moment and find joy and happiness in every moment and try to operate in the now, not the past, but in the now and understand this is a really cool thing that he was sharing that first thing you need, everybody needs to fix is love, happiness and gratitude. It's inside of us uh, and the best way to do it and the best way to find it is not to look at other people, but is to look at yourself. And then it is like comparing myself with my yesterday self because that way you will see progress and that will give you more happiness and more fulfillment in that rather than comparing you to other people who maybe are doing business for 20 years and you're just doing it for one year and they have a billion and you have nothing. It's much, much better to compare yourself to your yesterday self or the guy you were or girl you were three months ago, right? Uh, live like a child, free of limitations and opinions. Love is in abundance. You can feel love anyway and give and receive from others, not just your wife or family or close friends. Just share it. That's amazing. Just share it around. Yeah, Give your love to everybody. And gratitude. And gratitude, he, he gave a really good example, which is something like this. So this is coffee. And uh, this is a cappuccino from a local place called Caffeine in, uh, in Latvia. So imagine how this came. So somebody grew coffee beans, then they made these coffee beans, then they packaged them, then they sent to Latvia, then a Latvian guy made like a coffee shop, then the Latvian guy uh, hired a barista, the barista actually made my coffee shop. To make my coffee there was a machine, somebody invented the machine, somebody shipped the machine, somebody installed the machine in the coffee shop, and then somebody made it for me and then somebody made this like um, the cup holder the cup and everything and i can drink it today crazy and it all happened for me crazy crazy idea right it all happened for me it happens for me and be grateful for these things be grateful for like apple made these headphones amazing headphones these are the best headphones i have used and i use them every day basically they made them for me and I'm grateful for that because I get to use them and I get to experience the value from them. And everything around like us is like that. YouTube, it's amazing. Be grateful for YouTube, brother and sister. Uh, the, the more grateful you feel, the more you want to do and want to achieve and want to do. And uh, this is a cool question. I love this question. This was a great question. What would you choose? What would you choose? What would you choose? Your biggest dreams let's say is to become a billionaire let's say it's la rolls royce let's say it's have a six pack or to wake up tomorrow but you can only choose one if you choose your biggest dream you will not wake up tomorrow you'll get it today but you'll not wake up tomorrow or do you choose to wake up tomorrow most of you will say to wake up tomorrow which is that's that means that the most thing the most important thing you already have it's life and life is number one and everything additionally comes as a bonus if you have ability to walk that's a bonus if you have a roof over your head that is a bonus if you have family that is a bonus if you have friends that is a bonus if you have money to buy things you want it's a bonus if you have a job and another opportunities that is a bonus so you know that's that way you'll become more grateful very really good exercise i really like, love this i really love this um, I'm just skipping some things and then I just want to go to the juicy part. TikTok. Some people see TikTok as a place to get to watch cat videos and entertainment and just like 
blow off time, right? That's one person's opinion of TikTok. Second's opinion, second person's opinion of TikTok could be TikTok is a platform where I can reach millions of people and I can inspire, I can sell my products and I can make money and I can come make my dreams come true. The same thing, TikTok. People look at it differently. Let's say email. Some people look at email, it's spam. It's like not nonsense. And somebody looks at email marketing and email is an opportunity to get more clients, more sales, more, more profit and help more people. The same thing, just different perspectives on what it is. Try to see purpose and purposefulness in things, you know, and use them if you see it, right? And be open in seeing that, okay? Okay, next thing. When you do something, this was great. I love this idea. So I also make videos. My videos don't get tons of views and I love this approach because this guy has like million, uh, billions of views and his approach was that when you make a video, do the intention that this video will see million, 10 million, 100 million people and have this intention when you make the video. I'm also right now trying to do make this video. I'm thinking like 100,000 people will see this, so I'm gonna put some effort into this video, so it's a great video. Intention matters, intention matters. It's very important. And believe your videos will get millions of views because if you believe your videos will be like, ah, nobody's gonna watch it, you know what? Nobody's gonna watch it. Very interesting, right? Um, haters on social media. Okay, this was a cool idea, which I remember now, not from my notes, is that when haters comment on your videos, they are actually reflecting their own reality. It's a reflection of them. Their comment is a reflection of them, not about you. The comment can be about you. Let's say, haha, Nix, you have shitty hair. It's not about me. It's about them. They're set there. When I see that, I'm thinking, that's person's reality. That's how they see things. That's how they feel. That's how they think. And it's a reflection of them, not a reflection about me. And you should always send love to them. I know, of course, everybody wants to smack their haters. Nobody fucking likes them. I, uh, I apologize for the language, but that's true. I think, you know, my opinion is true. I don't like my haters <laughs> or people who hate on me. It's like, oh my God, just go about your day and don't leave me alone, brother. Okay, so... You can have your opinion, but always send love to them. Try to, like, don't care about it, okay? This is very nice. Uh, quick thing again, always be clear on what you want. I actually also, I have my goals, but I maybe not don't have them so detailed. I don't have feelings attached to them. I don't have many so many things attached to them. And sometimes I even don't have a date, like when I'm going to get this. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just, like, adjusting this and making sure it, it is there. So, okay, it's very important. Uh, and the last from this, but there's again more notes, you can just check them out. I want to make this video like below 15 minutes, I'm trying to at least. The only thing that can stop you from your goals is just death. And understand this, the only thing that can stop you is death. And maybe that even cannot stop you because there maybe is an afterlife and stuff like that, which I don't know, but maybe. Okay, uh, let's go. And then it was Thomas, who was also sharing about mindset and things. And uh, quick, uh, quick notes. Try your best regarding what you do, anything you do, try your best, be the best you can be, leading people, making products, making videos, making social media, managing people, creating value, do your best. And many billionaires are made, many billionaires make their money by asset management. And that's what actually Thomas is doing because he's starting a hedge fund and he wants to manage assets to become more rich and make more money. And here I put from Forbes. So here you can see the top 10 industries where are the most billionaires. Top one, finance and investments. And you can check out the last list. And here's an article about billionaires, which I found quite interesting. You can check it out. It's by uh, PwC company, it's a law firm. So you can check it out. Okay. Um, and he watches in, in TikTok to get inspiration for his own videos because he has a lot of ah, cool videos. Some of them like, well, like this one. 1.5 million views, crazy. And he got the idea from this and then I did it for him. He did it with money and with this. Kind of interesting, right? Uh, I like it. Uh, okay, and in the future, Thomas believes that if you have one Bitcoin, then you'll be in the top 1% of the richest people in the world. Right now, I would say it's like probably, I don't know the statistics, but I think it's like 250,000 per year, you're like top 1% top of the world. He believes once you have one Bitcoin, that will be equal to that, but in the future. Uh, maybe not, maybe yes, doesn't matter. Okay, 
Uh, then day two, we were talking about, because the event was three days in Dubai. Um, yeah, three days in Dubai. Second day, we were talking more about team building, hiring, and a lot of things. Um, here are a lot of questions which I, I would ask if I now would hire. And a cool thing that I got from him is you only need top 10 people in any business to make a billion euros, dollars, or probably like, let's say 50, 50 million or 100 million probably. That's more realistic to most people. Like 10 really good people in leadership positions. And that was also what Steve Jobs was saying. We were watching some videos from Steve Jobs about hiring. There's a lot of questions I would ask. And I got a lot of good questions from him because he had like a more depth these questions. And a cool question, which I actually started using like uh, last week, is this one. Uh, no, not, not last week, but this week. Sorry, sorry, this week. Because the event, I actually came back Monday. This is now I'm filming this video. It's Thursday. I came back from Dubai Monday. So I actually, uh, Wednesday, I think I had interviews and I was asking this question. So what kind of metrics did you use in your past job to evaluate your performance? This was a great question, I think. It's very great. And then there's here a lot of more questions, right? A lot more. And you can just read them through and ask them if you have a business and you're looking for people. I think it's very, very great. Then the th day three, we were talking about mindset. And uh, what was the biggest things? You need to feel good to be more productive. Make sure you feel better, feel good. I was very inspired by him that he doesn't drink a lot, like at all, any alcohol or smoking. And uh, there's many, many years he doesn't do it. I was very inspired because that's something I also want to change. And also I want to change this coffee drinking because I think coffee is also making me less energy, not more, but less energy. I'm still working on it. I'm just drinking maximum probably one cup per day. There are exceptions that which maybe is like two cups per day. And then I'm like very stressed out and very nervous. And then what he was saying about Wim Hof. So he recommended it. And I'm also uh, seeing and I'm probably going to go to Wim Hof's uh, events. I actually wanted to go to this event. Uh, this is this month, but I couldn't go because my wife's father has a uh, birthday. So I couldn't go, but I was really wanting to go. But I may be going to go in June or July. So if you want, let me know. We'll go together maybe. Um, okay. And then this is also interesting. So when, when you become angry or afraid, there's actually studies or it shows that your blood flows from your brain to your muscles way more. So you lose your cognitive abilities, which is interesting. So when you feel angry or afraid, don't make big decisions, okay? Don't make big decisions. So try not to make decisions, okay? And don't worry about what you have not done in the past. Don't worry what you have not done in the past. Worry about what you're doing right now and focus on that. And then here he shared his affirmations, which you can read through in this uh, document. This also document is uh, in the description. You can check it out. And uh, if someone is forcing you to do something and you don't like to, you don't like to do it, don't meet them again. Let's say you go to a party and somebody's like, "Hey man, drink." No, no, I don't want to drink. No, no, how are you not gonna drink? If this person says this, don't hang out with them. Never. Just don't meet them again. This was a cool thing. Vision board, which I also made. I actually. I did my vision board 2022 and like a lot of things came through and 2023, I didn't do it. So I was like, ah, oh, gotta do it. So I put mine also, um, yeah, I put like dream house, dream income, some watches I wanna buy, my body, uh, my wife, my family, travel and two cars. I wanna have two cars, one for me, one for my wife. And I put what kind of cars I want in my vision board. Right now I have a BMW X4 but I want to have a newer one and a different car as well. And uh, then there's the last thing, which I think was brilliant, which was a good example, which I didn't know. So imagine you're counting from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. It would take you 11 days if uh, one number is like one second, let's say. Eh? One is one second, two is one second, and again. It would take you 11 days to count to a million, but it would take you 31 years to count to a billion. Interesting, right? Interesting. Very interesting. I love this uh, analogy. I love it. So I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. Let uh, Leave me a comment. Tell me how you think. What do you like? Did you like this content? Would you want me to make more content like this? So I know. And as always, stay sharp, stay sexy, stay successful. And I see you in the next video.